What's going on, everybody? DW77 is here, coming at you with some more Red Dead Redemption 2 cinematic story missions. Today we're going to be looking at Money Lending Part 4. Some more loan sharking on behalf of Herr Strauss. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will get into today's video. I just wanted to mention I've been gaining a lot of followers, a lot of subscribers lately. And I want to say I've noticed and I appreciate it. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> now, as many of you may have noticed, I try to keep my videos a little shorter than this, but this is kind of a lengthy mission. Never gonna get the hang of this. Unfortunately, going forward, many of them may be. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? But you want another. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I mean, I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh... This, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boss! Don't be shy. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! You're done here. Move along. I was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. <laughs> 
Churchyard's closed. Get out. Oh, my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. That's good. Keep it up. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick You gonna get it! Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Oh, well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees. You. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That's more than, than clear what I what I owe you. So after Mr. Hughes, we have to go and find a Winton Holmes. He's actually fairly easy to find. Just kind of follow yourself to the center of his little gray area. But he's gonna lead us on a hunt, literally. Winton Holmes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I am mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. This then. I guarantee repayment. 
Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. So there's a moment every now and again when you screw up playing a game that you've played before, thinking you have a good idea or a smart idea, and it bites you right in the butt. And that was it right there, guys. All right. I did not Joe, pull my sawed-off shotgun Quiet now. off my horse. Won't be able to miss her I'm, in the dark. I'm still super confused about what I, exactly I was thinking there. I don't know. But, uh, yep, that's what I did, that's, that's what happened, so, and, you know, can't wield a two-handed weapon while you're holding your lantern, you can't see in there without your lantern, so, yeah, I totally dropped the ball there, um, if I get killed by the cougar, I absolutely deserve it. You hear that? There's a cougar. Here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. She's so pretty, it's almost a shame that I'm going to have to go back in and kill her. And, yeah. Had I had my sawed-off shotgun, I could have maybe avoided dying there. Dead, dead. 
cat. Don't be afraid to unload on her. Her carcass is worth the same no matter how many bullets you put into her. Just wanted to mention that. It's what? That'll be rare. So here is where the game will teach you about selling animal parts to the butcher. Seems like something most of us have probably figured out by now, but, you know, it does have to teach us, otherwise it wouldn't be doing its job. But anyway, that is going to pretty much do it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you stay up to date with my subscriber drive. And we will see you boys and girls out there roaming the prairies.